Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya. Same as Naya. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So I keep asking this. Why is it that black people do not have any law like uh, like anti-black law and all that? Because this is also one of the reasons why we wake up on the internet. Some people are being very crazy and acting very silly. Now, look at this young man. There are some conversations you hear people say and you ask yourself, like, what is wrong with some people i mean you have friends black friends that probably call you the n-word or something and then they told you that you cannot use the same word on them and then instead of you to sit down and ask them the reasons or the reason why it is so you did not have any discussion with them and then you come online to tell us or ask us why is it that we can say the word but they cannot say that uh it makes no zero sense. Now, this is to tell you from the videos he made, you definitely will know that both of them are contradicting each other. This young man has been saying it, and he made mention that he is not American, he's European, like, you know, moved to New York. And then he hears that all the time. See, let me tell you something, bro, you are a liar. You've been saying that word, and you know that word. For real, for real. I am not going to lie to you. And see, I am really tired of waking up every day and we are like, you know, seeing people coming out online to like, you know, to uh, disrespect themselves or gaslight somebody. There should be a law because the way anti-Semitic and anti-Semitism and all that, like, you know, they enacted a lot for them and all that was too fast. How come they don't do it for us that fast? Let's get into this video. Can someone explain me why white people are not allowed to say the n-word and mostly why white people cannot say the n-word back when they get called the n-word from a black person like that doesn't make any sense to me like zero zero sense can someone please help me understand yeah i guess my my accent gave it away that i'm not american i'm obviously a foreigner uh, I was born in Europe, uh, I lived in, uh, in the United States, precisely in New York for many years and that's exactly where I experienced this, what you talk about in the comment, that I had several situations where I had black people, where most of the time it wasn't even like uh, friends of mine, it was just like random people on the streets or in a store or whatever, that uh, were calling me the, the, the N-word most of the time, like 90% of the time, luckily, it was in a good way. It was just like, you know, hey, bro, like that way of saying it. And uh, other times it was kind of in a bad way, you know, like when I had kind of discussions with some people in the streets or stuff and they were calling me the word. So then I started thinking, I was like, you know, I know I cannot uh, say it because when you're a European and you go to the States, the first thing that you learn is never say the n-word to a black person and I'm like totally fine with that but then I was like you know people are calling me the n-word and I cannot say it back why is that how does that work you know so then I had um, I had a friend of mine he was actually like a friend of a friend but we met like three four times and then the fourth time that we met uh, he came to my house and when he came uh, into my house at my door he was like, yo, what's up, my... And he said the N-word. And I looked at him, I was like, yo, good. And I knew I couldn't say it, but it's just like, I faked it. I was like, yo, what's up, my... And he laughed. He was like, oh, I almost got you, I almost caught you. And I was like, you know, what, what is the problem if I said it? And then we sat down and we spoke for like an hour about it because I was like, what is the problem with me saying the same word that you just told me? If it's, the sa if it's in the same way that you... You said it, so, you know, you come into my house, you say, hey, what's up, bro? And I tell you, hey, what's up, bro? It's all good, you know? There is not, uh, nothing wrong with it, I thought. But we never got to, to an understanding point at the end. So, yeah, that's why I took it online. The, the, the end word. Most of the time, like 90% of the time, luckily, it was in a good way. It was just like, you know, hey, bro, like that way of saying it. And other times it was kind of in a bad way, you know, like when I had kind of discussions with some people in the streets or stuff and they were calling me the word. So then I started thinking. I was Look, I have a genuine question for you. Does it really matter? 
Does it matter this much? Do you really care this much? Because let's think about it this way. You are a foreigner. You move into foreign land or you go visit foreign land. And these foreign lands have cultures, a vast amount of culture. You so happen to land on African-American culture, which is a subsection of black culture. And I'm speaking, understanding the term of black as a race, the more of a Western concept with a lot of emphasis behind it, a lot of history and nuance behind it. But you visit these cultures, right? And there's a cultural phenomenon that you notice but you don't quite understand there is a word better yet a slur that has been used to antagonize and attack black people in that region black people in that culture for centuries right and this word was a direct consequence of their skin which there should be no consequence for the skin you're just born with the skin that you're born into and yet while you understand this word has been used to antagonize them to make them feel less than to make them feel awful it seems like they freely use it amongst each other matter of fact they use it in a variety of ways in happy ways and sad ways and angry ways they just say it all the time yet frankly they're not happy with foreigners mainly outsiders of that group saying that word whether to them or in their own personal spaces which this is not something only foreign to black people plenty of other cultures including mexicans have slurs that were used against them that they now use freely with each other and i forgot to say i kept saying word but these words are still present they're not history they're still happening today people still use these words against black people against hispanic and latin people against southern asian people against northern asian people against all sorts of different people that you've never heard of you're just so obsessed about this being a black person thing and it's not just a black person thing and this is a generalization not every single black person likes the n-word not every one of them think we should use it some think we should not use it at all and i know you know this because in one of your videos somebody comments hey this is not only unique to black people i don't know why you're so specific and focus on them with that and you said what other cultures have these kind of things and that person gave you examples and then you told that person what are these words <laughs> And that person was clearly an outsider to those groups, so why why would you ask them to tell you what these words are when you have Google, like, you have the world's engine, you have AI? But really, going back to the point is, does it matter? Because this specific rule of the racial group does not harm you in any way. It does not harm you socially, it does not harm you physically. If anything, it doesn't even inconvenient you because this was never a word in your vocabulary in the first place. It's just a phenomenon in their culture that you see them express with each other or with you, perhaps. And you can have as much curiosity as you want about the word and the history of the word, which is why you have the internet. Mainly search engines, not really TikTok videos to see if you can have these conversations with black people because not a lot of black people want to have this conversation with you. Even if you were to have an opinion on whether or not the group should use the word, nobody's really looking for your outside input because you are missing a lot of things. This is a conversation to have within the group because this is not an issue of any kind except that it makes you a bit uncomfortable because you want to say it. And that's my last thing. The reason the reason why people are commenting that you're disingenuous is because you're also liking comments that are belittling black people who use the word. You're liking comments making a mockery out of people and yet you don't realize why it is that they probably wouldn't want somebody like you saying those words. The irony is really funny because you call yourself a conversationalist, hey let's talk about everything and yet you can't even create a safe space to talk about such an intimate conversation. Rather than actually opening yourself up for some perspectives and knowledge that you were probably not aware of, you already had your mind made up. At the end of the day, you want to say the word. You don't have to pretend you care about our history and why can't you say the word? You're just waiting for people to tell you, go ahead and say it. So you have my vote. If you really want to say it that bad and you want to disrespect what these people have been telling you, then just disrespect it. You don't have to pretend to care. We don't know you, Draco. So this is all I got from this video. And the truth is that uh, this man has already said it several times and all that. And if you wanted to know one of like, because why I'm saying is because there is a video, the first video that followed the other one, he said he was asking, why is it that I'm, why, why people are not allowed to say the N-word back, you know, when they get called the N-word from people that look like me, right? So he went for that to say that doesn't mean it make any sense to him. It, that it made zero zero sense, right? Now I am going to say this. This young man has said this several times, and I don't care what you have to say about it because this way, like you know, because this the first video is contradicting the second video he made, right? Then he had a long conversation with his friend, a black man that I always call him the, his N word and all that, and then he get. Why did he not sit down without his friend that told him that he cannot use it or the one that called him that, right? 
Why did he not sit down and ask him the questions like, why is it that I cannot use it? How come he left the conversation he had with him and every other thing, his friend that always vibe and all that. And now has to go back to ask, why is it that they can say it and I cannot say it and that it makes zero sense? Says, you know what, bro, I don't know your name, but I Drago, whatever, Drago, whatever, who you, whatever your name is. You can actually say it, but I have to give you the name of the place or the part there. There is a particular place you are supposed to say it. Just don't come out and say it or stay in your room and say it or probably look for a way to call that your friend the same, use the same N word on him. Go to the hood and say it, right? Then you will understand the reason why they keep telling you do not say it to every other person. Now, I really do not understand how full grown, I don't know why I'm sounding so angry, but these people are very upsetting sometimes, you know, full grown men, because I really do not see reason why I am telling you do not use this on me because it is not okay. Why? It is very an offensive word. It is okay for us to use it, but it is not okay for you to use it. Why do I have to look for permission or look for a way to insert myself in that and then start asking, why can I not say it? Say it. Say it. You are looking for people to help you to tell you to say it. Bro, say it and stop disturbing our ears. But one thing I'm going to tell you all is that I'm Sometimes you might end up with the wrong person because I have seen so many people. One was pupil because he used the word on him. The other one was like almost hmm <laughs> because he used the word on him. See that I have tolerance of that mean that the other person got, right? Some people got zero shields. So sometimes you might, and I really hope these people, like you know, my ancestors, keep directing them to the wrong people because these are the people that will teach them lesson, you know. When you say some certain thing to the wrong people, then you will hear from them. Sometimes you all are lucky that you say it to the right people and they are all chilled and all that probably like give you bombastic side eye. Some people are not that nice. All right. So people like this, people like Drago or whatever his name is, does not need nice people. He absolutely need one of those people that set some records straight up without even... Uh, trying to know what is going to happen or what's not going to happen. You all can really do better and stop coming online to like, you know. And the fact that I just keep asking, why is it that black people do not have like anti-black law, the way they have anti-Semitic law and other people law, right? Why is it we do not have it? Because some people really need to be set as an example. I don't understand every day we are like, you know, battling with people saying the n-word up and down and they think that is a flex it is no flex but then i mean i really don't understand them why do we not have it we keep waking up every day to keep talking like we are talking bye